Hello, this is a general word about the case studies for those of you who are online only. First of all, if you're online only and you are in European history, the case study two is now completely voluntary. Unless you're an AP student, which I don't believe any uh, fully online students are, you do not have to do Unit uh, 2's case study. If you're in European history, that is the case. If, on the other hand, you're in ancient history, you do have to do the case study 50 fact sheet and short form, form profile. So, all of this information is on the... Google Classroom streams, and it's also on the assignments in question. For those of you who are fully online, in order to choose a topic, what I uh, suggest is that you email me with three possibilities. The lists are near the end of each of your Unit 2 note packs. You'll see lists of case study topics in both European and ancient. In ancient history, you will pick three, and I will choose one of those three to be your approved topic. Uh, if you are in European and you wish to volunteer to do one, that's fine. Now, something I said to all in-person students, I'm going to say to you now. If you are in European history, you do not have to do case study two. AP students have to. However, there is one other type of European history student that would be wise to do case study two. If you really got a lousy grade during the first quarter, and you want to make sure that your second quarter grade is going to be high in compensation, so that you have a prayer of a chance of passing the first semester, which requires 45% of your grade from first quarter, 45% of your grade from second quarter, and 10% from the semester exam. If you've got a lousy first quarter grade, you need a high second quarter grade. And the exam is a crapshoot. You never know how you're going to do until you, until you do. So, and you can't rewrite wrong answers on a semester exam. So here's what I suggest you do. European students who are on the ragged edge because you did a lousy job first quarter, do the case study. Do as much of the case study as you can. Everyone who does a case study has to do a 50 fact sheet. Do a profile. Do an essay. Do a video presentation as per the presentation guidelines on, on the end of the 50 fact sheet. If you're in ancient and you only have to do a 50 fact sheet and a profile, maybe you should also, if you did a lousy job first quarter, do an essay and do a video presentation. Here's why. You don't need to be brilliant in order to succeed at my case study. You don't need to be historically apt. You need to work hard. Anyone can work hard. Every single person in these classes can earn an A on my case study if you try hard and produce a piece of work that you can take pride in. That is something that's completely under your control. Unlike a test, you can control how well you do on a case study. You do a good job. Now, that's my advice. You can take it or leave it. Those sections that are voluntary. If you did a good job first quarter, don't do them. Unless you're an AP. But if you did a bad job, do them because it might make the difference between your second quarter being here and you taking definitive steps to bring your second quarter grade up here. That's it. Thank you for your attention. Have a good day.